What's going on everybody? I'm out here on the Snake River here in southern Idaho back for another episode of Pinewood Outdoors. Uh, if you're familiar with this place, it's from one of my other videos. I fished over there by the dam. Today I'm actually going to go uh, fish the bottom of a spillway uh, really close to the Malad Gorge. So hopefully I can catch some fish today. Um, if I do catch some fish, trout hopefully then what i'm planning on doing is doing a trout avocado cheese sandwich melt wow that's a mouthful but it's basically like a tuna melt or a like a crab melt but with trout i'm gonna spread some avocado on it so i think it's gonna taste really good i'm looking forward to this i tried a spot uh, about five miles up the road and caught a few smaller trout but not really what i'm after uh, i'm kind of after some bigger ones today so Let's get out there. I'm gonna kayak across and get to my spot real quick. And then once I get there, I'll show you my hookup and everything that's going on. If I don't catch anything down here, then who knows, I might just move back up to my uh, spot from the other video and fish there. I know there's fish. So anyways, I'm gonna keep rowing till I get there and then I'll meet you guys down and we'll start catching fish. All right guys, got to my spot and uh, it looks awesome. Uh, I can already see some trout hanging out in this area and I'm gonna be fishing sort of the white here. There's gotta be fish. I also saw actually a handful of catfish uh, rowing in as well, which is kind of odd. They don't usually group up like that, I don't think so. But anyways, I'm gonna get my rig set up and start fishing. I think this spot's gonna be promising. So let me get that ready to go. Oh, look at this. I'm still, I just saw this. You know what I think that is? I think someone was sturgeon fishing out here and made a makeshift rod holder. Check that out. <laughs> Ingenious. A redneck hookup. So guys, let me hook up. I'll show you what I've got on and then we'll start fishing. All right guys, um, I'm gonna be using just a regular bait holder. I think it's a size four. And then my secret thing right here, that is steelhead row. So I actually caught some steelhead yesterday. I didn't get it on film because uh, I wanted to just fish basically. And I was still kind of learning how to do things. So wanted to spend more time fishing, but I'm gonna throw some of that stuff on there and then I've got a bobber about four feet higher than the bait. I'll just let the bait just sit there in that white water and uh, hopefully we get some action. So I'm gonna go ahead, thread some of this on the best I can. If this doesn't work, I'm going to the night crawlers. So let's get that on and I'll toss it out. All right, throw this thing out there. All right, so I tried fishing with the steelhead row. It it looks promising. I had a bunch of bites, but it comes off too easily. So I'm gonna switch to the night crawler and test that out. I actually see some bass down here too, so I might kind of tease them a little bit as well. See what we can get. I'll take anything really, but I'm going after the trout. So I'll see what I can do, and hopefully we pull in some fish. All right, there's the worm. Let's toss it in. And I'm gonna use that stupid rod holder that someone made. We'll just watch that thing. I think we got one. Nope.
There we go. Look at that, guys. We're on. There we go. Let's come down and get them. There we go. Not bad. Oh, all right. Let me get the hook out of this guy and then I'll show you what he looks like. All right, guys, there he is. First trout of the day. Take a look at that guy. He's bleeding, so I'm gonna keep him. Not bad for the start of the day. Not bad at all. All right, let's go back out. Right back in the same spot. And I'm just gonna put it back on that rod holder. There we go. Oh, we got one. We got one. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, let's get him out of the current. He's a fighter. Yeah, look at that. Let's get him up here. I gotta get this guy back in the water pretty quick because I'm not keeping him. All right, calm down, little buddy. Okay. Right in the corner of the mouth. Just the way I like it. Check it out, guys. Fish number two. Not bad. He was jumping out of the water. So I'm going to go ahead and get him back in there. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit, see if I can crank up the action. So I'm gonna go with this rainbow trout colored Rapala, toss it in the current, and hopefully something big is after that. I, I bet you this does something. We'll see though, here we go. All right guys, I'm gonna try this now. I'm switching it up. I haven't caught anything on the Rapala. So I'm gonna see if this uh, crawdad can do the trick. Uh, just gonna toss it in as I have been. We'll see if we can get anything on that. All right, let's try the crawdad. Oh, we got a bite. Got one. There we go. That's a bite. Oh, he's big. Oh, is it a sucker? What is this? Oh, look at that. It is a trout. Oh, no, it's a sucker. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh, you know what, guys? This is a pike minnow. And you know what these things do? These things are these things are predators. All right, hang on just a second. All right, guys, see that right there? That is a pike minnow. These things are predators, so we're going to kill them. They don't deserve to be in this water. They eat all the trout and the bass. So we're getting rid of them. But not bad though, pretty big. 
All right, guys, this was that pike minnow. Uh, I killed it uh, humanely. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it up a little bit and throw it back into the water. Uh, that way the uh, sturgeon can feast on this guy. Uh, but it is dead. I'm not throwing this thing back out alive. It's an absolute predator. So I'm going to chuck it back out there in pieces, give those sturgeon some to eat. Hey guys, I'm switching it up again. Uh, just gonna go back to the old worm, toss it out there and see if that does anything. Kind of just experimenting with a bunch of different stuff to see what works. I know there's some massive trout down there, so I'm kind of seeing what I can find, but we'll try that. We've got some split shots um, about 12, 14 inches higher than the hook, so I'm just gonna toss it out, let it dangle around back there, moving the current. Hopefully something picks it up. Let's try it out. Hey guys. Um, Gonna add the bobber to it. Nothing's happening with just the worm and split shot. So uh, I'm gonna try to catch one more fish here, and then I'm gonna move back upstream closer to the dam and try up there. So put this on there and see what happens. All right, uh, back at it with the bobber. we go guys oh we missed him oh wait nope no I got him he's back on yeah whoa there we go look at that yay not bad at all let me get the hook out of this guy and I'll put him in front of the camera. Not bad though, check that out. There it is guys, not too bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna put him back though, I already got one. I decided since I'm still catching fish, I'm gonna keep fishing just a little bit more before I move if I even decide to move. Um, I really don't wanna go all the way upstream to the dam since I'm catching fish here. So I'm just gonna keep fishing. There we go, guys. Now I got a bite. Got him. He's not huge, but he's a fish. Oh, he is a fighter. Get down there. Help this guy out a little. Let's get this hook out of him. There he is. He's bleeding a little bit, but he'll survive. Not bad though. Let's get him back in. Oh yeah, no issues there. All right guys, uh, I'm gonna head back towards the truck. My uh, GoPro battery ran out, so I'm gonna go grab my spare. And then since I'm gonna be down that way, I am probably gonna go check out right below the dam in that one spot that I was in one of my other videos. I'll see if I can put a link to it. But anyways, I head back down and I said, grab that battery. And then hopefully I've got enough time before daylight. Oh yeah, before sunset, I mean. Um, yeah, I should have enough time. So I'm gonna get over there and uh, give this spot a try. All right guys, I uh, just tried right below the dam. Got nothing, tried for about 30 minutes. And now I've only got about 30 minutes of daylight left. So I'm gonna fish this spot. You guys are familiar with it if you've seen my other video here. And then I'm gonna head out. Um, 
right at dusk because I'd like to get back across the river before it's dark. So I'm gonna use the old bobber again with worms and see if that does the trick. I also brought two rods. So hoping I can get doubles, it'd be kind of cool. Um, don't know what I'll do if I get doubles, so maybe not, but um, I'm still gonna throw them out anyways. I, I, I doubt I'll get doubles, but it'd be kind of cool. So let's throw these things out there and let's check it out. All right, guys, I'm heading back. Um, I am not catching anything in this spot, so I'm glad I went to that new spot today. So I'm gonna head back home so I can get the ingredients to make that uh, trout sandwich with the avocado and everything. And um, as soon as I get back, I'll start making that. Should be a good time. Let me go ahead and pack up and get back home. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, it's actually the next day. I got home last night, was really tired, didn't really want to make the food, so I just put the trout in the refrigerator, and um, so now we're back. I've got the trout right here. I'm gonna go ahead, and all I'm gonna do is gut it, and I'm just gonna bake it whole. I've got the oven preset, so let me go ahead, get this thing cleaned out real quick, and then I'll bake it, and I'll show you what the next step is from there. So, I've got the fish gutted. Uh, I took off the head so it would fit inside the pan. But I've got the tin foil around here just to help keep some of the butter inside. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna season it with this um, Carolina seasoning rub. It's the bold and tangy flavor. You can probably find it at any grocery store. Uh, I'm just gonna season that. It's kind of a buttery flavor. And then I'm gonna put some slices of butter all around here, just kind of let it bake. I'm gonna bake it at 400 degrees for I don't know, between 15 and 20 minutes, I'll check on it here and there. When it's done, I'll show you what that looks like and then I'll show you how to prepare the actual sandwich portion. So let me go ahead, season this thing up, get the butter inside, and then we'll get this thing in the oven. All right guys, while I'm waiting for the fish to cook up in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and mash up this avocado here. And, whoa, that was a bad cut. Let me go ahead and um, cut this off camera real quick, get it ready, and then I'll mash this up for you guys. All right, this next part's simple. Just start mashing up the avocado uh, until it becomes uh, sort of a paste-like substance. And this one's not 100% ripe, uh, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and mash this thing up, and then I'll show you what it should look like when it's ready for the spread. All right, so that's about what it should look like. Uh, just some standard guacamole. You can add some salt if you want to or whatever else, but um, I'm probably just gonna stick with the salt. And then, so that right there, that's ready uh, to go for the final product. All right, the trout should be done baking. Put it right there. Go ahead and turn this off. And let's check on it. Look at all that butter in there. Yeah, I can see that the skin's starting to come off. And if you look at that piece right there, it's flaking. So this is ready. Let me get some uh, meat off this and then I'll show you the next step. Take a look at that. Peeled off all the skin and scales. And the reason I baked it is because traditionally with trout, it's easier to pull the meat off the bones. So it just made sense to me. So next, I'm going to pull some meat off, put it on a separate plate 
And then what I'm gonna do after that, I need to butter up two pieces of bread. I had to turn the stupid oven back on because I turned it off. I've got it set to broil. This is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toast these two pieces of bread in the oven with butter on them, and then I'll pull those out afterwards. See that right there? That's exactly why I bake trout because I can basically just pull out that skeleton without getting any bones in the meat. There are gonna be a few, that's inevitable, but look at that. I mean, I got 99% of the bones and rib cage out. So, and since I've got my trusty sidekick, she'll be getting some of the trout as well. So her lucky day. All right. Yeah, look at that. Those pieces of bread are ready. So let me get these out real quick. All right, the next thing to do is to just put some of this trout right on your bread there. A nice thick piece, that's what we're talking about. Get some right there and maybe right about there and fill in that little spot. Then what I'm gonna do, I've got some shredded cheese here. I'm going to lay that down on top here and that should melt very nicely. I'm gonna lay that piece right there and just let that melt. I know I should have something below it, but I didn't. So, my fault. My wife can be mad when she finds out. So I'm just gonna let that uh, piece of bread with the trout and the cheese sit there, melt on top. Should only take about a minute, not that long at all, and then I'll pull it back out and show you how to finish this thing off. All right, it's been about a minute, so that is what it should look like. Melted right on there. Done with the oven. I can officially turn that off this time. Okay, so the last few steps, take some of your avocado guacamole and put as much on there as you'd like. I like a good amount, not too much, not too little. And just give that a nice spread. One more should do it here. There we go. Turn that off. And then take your mayonnaise. If you want mayonnaise, I like it. And spread that evenly on your piece of bread, your other piece of bread. Boom. And then just lay it right on top. And there you go, folks. Let's give it a try. All right, time to test this thing out. Um, first, let me say a prayer. It is Sunday anyways. Always thank the Lord for everything that I'm provided. Okay, time to try this thing out. Here we go. I'm gonna take a bite from that big piece there. A little messy. It's good. It is good. I, I would say it's, it's a different taste. I'm so used to like turkey melts and tuna melts. This definitely has a different flavor, but it's good. It really is good. Uh, but I just think that it does take um, a little bit of an acquiredness to it, if that's a word, uh, because it tastes different than what you'd expect. But overall, it is very good. I like it. I'm going to finish this thing up. Would it be a redo is the question. <sighs> yes, I would redo it. No, I wouldn't serve it as like a meal if my friends or family came over. 
it's more of just an experimental thing. So it is good that way, but um, yeah, good enough to finish, good enough to satisfy me. Please, if you like my video, um, go out there, hit a subscribe on it, tell your friends about it. I would really appreciate the support. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next episode.